In this video today, we will be reviewing a bot called MechAIO. Uh, MechAIO is a Shopify Easy Supply foot site, JD, um, Nike, Dick Sporting's Goods, uh, Sneakers, um, all in one drop. Uh, Mech is priced at $45 a month with the initial upfront cost of, I believe it's $300. Um, it comes with two instances. You're able to run this bot on multiple machines um, at the same time. And they are very well known for their Shopify as well as the Easy Supply module. So uh, if you do own this bot, I would definitely encourage you to run it. Uh, some of the unique features that this bot carries is something called auto age cap solving. Um, so within the MEC network, um, if an age capture populates and someone solves that, it will feed through to your tasks and automatically solve that for you as well. Um, it's amazing for domain drops that actually do run HCAPTCHA and some websites that do support them as well too. It's uh, of course, it's there to help you uh, solve and get success a lot faster. So uh, let's get into the details. Initially, when you open up the bot, you're met with the user interface as you're seeing here today. Um, within the main page uh, of your tasks, you're gonna have the ability to be able to click the website that you plan or the module that you plan on running um, for, for demonstration purposes we're going to do uh, Shopify you can create tasks here you can set up a name release name if you like we're going to do test and then we're going to select the website that we want to run so for example we're going to do APB store so we would select APB uh, we pop over to create and the task group has now been created underneath here you have a variety of different features so the left side here um, if it is a website where accounts are required, you can assign the account group here. Um, you can duplicate the task group if you wish to. On this side here, you would add your link or your keywords. Um, it does give you an example of what, how the keywords work and what they look like. So um, in comparison to most bots, there is no positive, po uh, positive buttons um, that, you, that you put in um, or positive keywords. By that, I mean the plus sign. Um, you would simply just put in the keyword that you're looking to, for it to monitor, and then you would separate out the ones that you don't want with a negative. So uh, just to quickly touch upon this again, and some bots would say you would put a plus sign and then you would do Yeezy, then you would do minus toddler, for example. Uh, with Mech AIO, the plus is not required. So um, you would add your, uh, your keywords in, and then from here you could select your, your proxy group, you could set your delays, you can separate task proxies as well as monitor proxies if you wish to um, some some individuals choose to do that um, coupon and then password if in case it is a password page where you would need to manually input the password to unlock it so pretty straightforward add these in and press save once that's saved it'll show up on this side here you can press the plus sign here to now select out the profiles um, the sizing that you like the quantity of uh, tasks you're trying to create and then a cart quantity as well so what a cart quantity is is uh, some websites will allow you to purchase say for example five items uh, five of the same item in one one cart i.e one checkout so you can just simply adjust that as needed and then press create um don't have any information in there at the moment so uh, it's not going to populate but that's how that, uh, that that setup process would go in terms of creating tasks on the right side is just simply stats. So how many tasks are running, how many carts you have, how many declines and how many checkouts. You can start and stop your tasks from here. So pretty straightforward. Uh, same principle applies towards any other website, realistically. Um, this button here is your profiles. So you would input your profiles through here. Um, you have an import and you have an export option. You can delete all. Um, you can also manually input them as needed. Your proxies would go onto this side here. So your ISPs, your residential data, you would simply add them here. And then you set the proxy list name and custom site. That's primarily if you're looking to test the proxies to see what the, uh, the ping rate is um, and filter out the banned proxies if you wish to. Uh, after you've added your proxies in, if you wanna test them, just select the website. We'll select Kith, for example, and then you would just press this button right here and all of the proxies that are here will start to ping. To the right side is your tools. So the tool section is where things get a little bit uh, sticky and complicated. Um, by default, you can create inbot harvesters here. So you would add the name, you would add the proxy, you would press save, 
once you saved it, you would log in. So let's uh, let's let's do a demonstration here. I'm gonna do test. I'm not gonna add a proxy. We're just gonna go save. It by default creates a Shopify. Let me uh, let me move this here because I have AYCD running in the background. So disregard this here. Confessions of a cosmetologist. <laughs> Please disregard that. Um, but once you created your harvester, you can click the drop down menu, and from here, by default, it's on checkpoint. But you can change it to checkout, YS, foot sites, finish line, JD, or even PayPal for PayPal specific sites. Um, once you've done so. Um, Click the YouTube button, log in to your, your Gmail account. Of course, make sure that that Gmail's proxy is in there beforehand and then press save. And then once you press save, you would click open and a window would populate, which is your inbot harvester. Now, mech can be buggy at times. So if you notice that it's taking time for it to load, uh, don't be afraid to go back and click open and spam it a couple times um, or restart the bot. But once you have everything going as needed, it will populate and it will show up uh, as, as you've seen here. So I'm going to move that to the side. Up top here, you have CAPTCHA, which is what we're on right now. You have SMS code. So in the event where Easy Supply requests SMS, um, you would simply click this button right here, have a window that will populate like so. And then you can just enter your codes as they come along. Uh, to the right side, this is CAPTCHA Gen. So what CAPTCHA Gen is, is your uh, third party solvers. So. If you plan on using two captcha, anti captcha, AYCD, Kylin one click, or Cap Monster, you would simply select it, just assign a name to it, and add the the uh, API key code credentials here, and press save. Um, once you've saved it in your task menu, um, Shopify will not, of course, show this. But if we're doing, say, Easy Supply, you'll then be able to choose your captcha from here. So. Um, self-explanatory don't run to captcha don't run anti captcha don't run cap monster for easy supply either do inbot harvester or aycd uh, but once you've added those credentials in it will populate and you can select them right here that uh, kind of sums up and wraps up uh, the tool section uh, settings this is where you would set your webhooks so webhooks would go right here um, on the bottom you can set up your quick task so Zephyr monitors will obviously be monitoring Shopify websites as well as many other sites. Um, if something populates that you like, you can just simply click quick task and it'll automatically push it through to your bot, provided that you set it up properly. Um, the beauty of Mech is that it very much like Zephyr, it actually has an inbot monitor that's on this side right here. Um, so as you select the websites that you want monitored, the products will appear one after the other in this quadrant all the way down from there you can also click the quick task button that it has and if you've assigned out your profiles and you set up quick tasks uh, the right way it will automatically populate and start your tasks for you so that's this side um, you have the expiry and then you have the version which mech is running on um, on the left side you have websites these are primarily for accounts um, so when we're looking at the top over here, we could do gift card assignments, we can do shipping rates, and then we can do accounts. So we click on accounts. Say for example, I'm looking to add uh, accounts for Bodega. I'll click the accounts, I'll go to Bodega, I'll add my email password for that, and I'll, I'll press the, the uh, little plus person button right here for it to add it. And then as I showed at the beginning, when you go back to tasks and you go to your Shopify module, the, if you are running a website where you have an account list already available, it will populate right here. You'll click and you'll assign, and then you can use it for the drop. Uh, going back to this tab right here, right next to it, which was the shipping rates. Um, shipping rates is meant to speed up the checkout flow and process. Um, you can generate them if you want to, or you can go into our Discord and Polar Chefs. There's a channel called Shipping, Dom shipping Rates. And from the shipping rates, you can copy and paste it. Um, because shipping rates are always subject to change, what I just generally do is if I'm gonna be running, say, kit, for example, I'm gonna find a product that the price point is exactly the same as the product I'm planning to run for. Um, then I paste the product link in here. I'll select the profile that I'm planning to check out with and I'll click fetch. 
what it does is it searches it, it populates it, and it'll show up here. Then I can just press apply, and it'll all show up uh, just underneath right here. So fairly simple, fairly fairly straightforward. Um, what you just need to understand is just what, what each button does for you and uh, how to navigate and uh, maneuver, man, maneuver around uh, the, the screen. So that's it. And then your home is just basically going to show you the analytics. So analytics of how many checkouts you've had today. Um, you can adjust them to month, year, and all time as well. And it'll show you how many checkouts through a graph as well as just a history of uh, all the items that you've purchased the day of. So that's it. This is Mech for you. Um, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, the Mech team is amazing. They've put together a detailed documentation just explaining everything that I've explained to you guys so far. Um, you're going to have to spend time learning Mech um, and perfecting it. Overall though, uh, Mech is very beginner friendly, um, especially if you're just entering the Shopify botting scene. Um, so when you are running for drops, especially HCAP based drops, uh, do expect your success rate to increase significantly because of the global sharing solving that they, uh, that they have available. So that's it. Thank you so much for your time and uh, have a wonderful day.